create this, use it like this, or this, or this. Let's get started. You'll need a few things, a flocked bunny, some florals, and some ribbon. You'll need some tools, including a steel pick or a wooden pick for inserting the bow into the bunny's neck. First thing I'm going to do is to tie a piece of the hot pink ribbon around the bunny's neck. I'm not going all the way because I want to leave a little spot to insert the bow. I've tied off a bow with two different ribbons with a pipe cleaner and a steel pick on the back to insert in the bunny's neck. I'm going to hide the pipe cleaner with a little flower. Let's get started with the florals first. You can do the bow first if you wish. I have a collection of roses, daisies, and wildflowers in coordinating shades of hot pink. And I'm going to put some in the top of the bunny's neck to it will appear that it's coming out of the top of the bow. And I'm going to put more from the bottom of the bunny's neck downward, and these will appear to come out from the bottom of the bow. There's a little flower right there in the ear, so I'm just going to glue a little flower there to cover it up. Now I'll finish with the band around the neck. Again, not going completely all the way. And I'm going to continue to add florals to the bottom of the flock bunny. If the stems of the florals are strong enough, you can just insert them directly. Or if it's not, you can use an ice pick like I just did to create just a little beginning hole there. Okay, I will continue down, add a few more florals in the bottom, then I'll put the bow into the neck. Again, the steel pick will go directly into the neck and I'll glue it. And I will go back and glue all the florals or you can glue as you go. I'm straightening out the tails of the bow and the loops and making it appear that the flowers come out the top and the bottom.